Hello, Douglas County. It's February 26, 2021, and I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, with Dr. Janet Meemark, Cobbin Douglas Public Health District Director, with a COVID-19 update for Douglas County. But before we begin, I'd like to give a special shout out to the Wellstar Douglas Hospital Intensive Care Unit staff. Allison Blank is one of your leaders for taking care of so many members of the Douglas County community, including me. I was an eyewitness to the intense hard work and long hours and dedication behind the scenes at Wellstar Douglas because I contracted the COVID-19 virus in December and was hospitalized into the new year. But I'm happy to return to recovering and on the way back here. My thoughts and prayers continue to be with families who have lost loved ones by the deadly virus. Dr. Meemark, what are the current COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County and what is the status of Wellstar Douglas now? Well, thanks for having me today. So numbers are, are doing better for those of you that are watching um, the uh, dashboard at um, DPH. And so um, you can see that they have a new look to the dashboard now. I've included the PCR numbers with the, the antigens. And so for those to remind everybody, the, um, the antigen ones are the ones that are done in the 15 to 30 minutes, and then you get your result back. Those previously were not being included in the numbers. And so now you're gonna see kind of an uptick in numbers because it's all being included together. When you look at that, um, we've had over 10,000 cases, almost 11,000 cases, and we've had um, the case rate is 475 over um, per 100,000 folks. So you remember anything over 100 is considered high. So we're still at five times the levels um, that's considered to be in, in, a, in a manageable situation. Um, unfortunately, we have lost 179 folks to COVID-19 in Douglas County. And so um, we know that January was the deadliest uh, month that we've had yet in the pandemic. And so we, we see those numbers coming down for February and we're all so very grateful. Um, those are the, the updates that we have for our COVID numbers at this time. Okay, super. One of the things that viewers are seeing on television and reading in the newspapers uh, is uh, the latest COVID-19 variant. What can you tell us about the COVID-19 variant? Yeah, so I mentioned that previously, just kind of making sure that everybody knew what was happening with that. In um, Douglas County, we have the B117 variant. We have it both in Cobb and Douglas, and it's it's kind of actually widespread throughout the state. This is the um, the uh, United Kingdom variant that has reached our shores. It's um, widespread throughout the nation, and we have gone from um, having uh, just one case that was detectable at first, and then now we've had multiple that have been added on, and every week we seem to get more cases cases added on. Now, remember, they're only doing some sampling of this. this is a very low, like 2%. Are they sampling at all? So we know that these numbers are much higher um, than what we're getting right now. And so What's important to know about this variant is that it is thought to be 30 to 70 percent more infectious than the um, usual uh, virus that we have right now. It is also there's several studies that are indicating that it could be more deadly than the COVID um, variant, the COVID virus that we have right now. And so it's very, very important. It is thought that the vaccines will work against this variant, the ones that we have for this variant. But it's very important because we don't have our, um, you know, a mass um, amount of our um, population that's vaccinated. So we got to continue to do those public health efforts to wash our hands and to socially distance um, and to um, um, wear your mask. It's very important. And it's also important to um, try to not gather too much outside your household because that is really what's contributing to a lot of the infections that we have. Speaking about, you know, efforts on the way, what can you tell us about COVID testing right now in the county? So we continue doing COVID testing. The health department has actually converted over to doing COVID vaccines. So we're putting a lot of our energy in that direction. But before that, we were able to build um, our partnerships and make sure that we provided free testing for our um, citizens as well. So we have that core group that um, is doing vaccinations, I mean, not vaccinations, testing, as well as the Air National Guard. When you go to our website, cobbanddouglaspublichealth.org, you can see that um, um, where they're going to be at different locations. Great. Can you tell us a little more about 
vaccinations, COVID-19 vaccinations now. Yeah, so so we were really excited on the 18th of February, we were able to open um, Arbor Place Mall um, in the Sears parking lot to do um, increased vaccinations. So at our health department site, it was really difficult for us to do 200 vaccinations over there. It was this tiny little space and the, par the, the traffic became bad quickly. So um, we expect to do over 800 vaccinations a day that's vaccine allowing if they send us our vaccines um, um, in that location. And so, and it's very timely because we're gonna talk a little bit about um, the eligibility criteria. Um, but we also, I wanna give a shout out to also to um, the Douglas Senior Services. They have done an amazing job helping folks get appointments and they do it very quickly and get people that um, have trouble with the internet and the forms and stuff like that and help them to get appointments. And so we're really excited to partner with them. Today is the day that Johnson & Johnson will actually be doing their FDA approval. And so we're really excited. That's a one dose vaccine that will be coming out. Um, so people, and we hope to see it next week. Some people may be asking, you know, the, the, um, um, efficacy rate of that is 72% in the United States versus the Moderna and Pfizer. That's 95% is what they found. Um, you know, this study was done very differently. It was done in multiple countries that had different um, variants going on at the time. And so what is important about this vaccine is that it had some excellent, excellent coverage against being hospitalized, going to the ICU or dying. And so, I mean, it was almost 100% at, at 28 days. That is really, really important. And that is the ultimate um, um, outcome that we are looking for. And so if you ask me, whatever you can get, try to get it because it's a very good vaccine and we're excited to have it in, in our, um, in our um, collection. That's great to hear. <clears throat> What can you tell us about the new phase 1A criteria that Governor Kemp outlined this week and what it means for Douglas County school teachers and educators? Yeah, so March 8th, please remember that date, is the day that um, the eligibility of the 1A plus group expands. And so we will add uh, educators and staff onto that group. That's the preschool all the way through K through 12 will be added to that. Um, also, it's um, children um, um, whose, um, it's the parents of children that are medically complex. And so those um, caregivers will be added on as well, as well as adults with developmental um, disabilities and their caregivers. So this group will expand, but um, it'll expand on March 8th. And that's when we anticipate we will have more vaccine to be able to vaccinate folks. So um, I want to make sure everybody knew that. And we've been working for months now on pl a plan to vaccinate educators in Douglas County. And so for the Douglas County school system folks, I want you guys to know that we've been working with Superintendent North and have a plan in place. Now, um, he will announce some of the details for you all, but um, the final piece that needs to go in places we have to make sure we get vaccine that you know for that event to happen but um, it's already been planned out and and you know spots have been put aside so that we can do that it will be at Arbor Place and more details will be coming and for private school folks we'll be able to put aside some time for them too to make sure that they have access as well. That is some exciting news Dr. Meemark thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the residents of Douglas County today? Well, first of all, I'm really happy to have you back, Rick. It's good to see your face and helping me to get this uh, information out to our citizens. Um, you know, we're almost there and there is a light at the end of this tunnel. And I just want everybody just to hang on a little longer. And I'm hoping that masks are becoming part of your everyday life, just like it's becoming part of my everyday life. Um, but to continue to be watchful and, and cautious until we can get there for the vaccinations. They're coming out quickly. Um, the federal government and um, we'll have uh, Johnson and Johnson coming out and then uh, Pfizer and Moderna have committed to bringing out more virus, I mean, more, virus, more uh, vaccines quicker. And so we really should be rolling by April. So I want to make sure that we all please don't give up. And I want to go on vacation, too, and, and we're going to get there. So please, let's just keep fighting a little longer till we can get there. Dr. Meemark, I like those words to end on. Yeah. Don't give up and keep fighting. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you. Have a great day.